Hey, what's up, guys? Well, on my last video, I showed you guys how to replace and install the OWCS Aura SSD upgrade into your MacBook Air. Of course, all MacBook Air owners accept the fact that pretty much the SSD is the only thing we can upgrade. But if you're like me and got the 128 gig MacBook Air, you know that it can fill up really fast, especially if you do a lot of photography and videography as a hobby. And also, if you have virtual machines hugging precious gigs from your hard drive. And as you all know, as the hard drive fills up, the overall performance of your machine reduces. My MacBook SSD was not only full, but the slow write speeds were showing signs of wear. So after selling a lot of things in eBay, especially all legacy lenses, I was able to buy the OWC upgrade kit. Now I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about these OWC SSD upgrade kits, but most of them don't review the performance of the actual SSD after all is installed. And also they don't talk about so much the reads and write speeds in these hard drives. So today I'm gonna to be focused on the 480 gig uh, SSD by OWC. And also the enclosure that comes with the kit, I was able to preserve my the original Apple SSD in the enclosure kit. So we're gonna test how that performs as well. Now taking a look at the benchmarks and I was actually surprised by the performance on the OWC's internal SSD because it was actually on par with the specification specs on their website. Initially, I was getting for 530 megabytes write, which is almost 100 megabytes over the specified specs. Now, the read speeds were not as good because I was getting 640 megabytes as opposed to the 763 megabytes per second uh, specify reads and this could be probably because of the cache building up it is a brand new installed ssd so it might need time to warm up to mac os sierra but i can't really complain with 640 megabytes per second that's still pretty fast and actually is on par with the uh, apple's macbook ssd and the temps i've been trying to do tests and i haven't noticed any raise in temperatures so it seems to run very cool the battery hasn't been impacted at all i was able to use the laptop still through a whole day of work on and off uh, the computer sleeps fine everything seems to be working pretty good i haven't had any crashes yet so it's very reliable ssd and i can really recommend it to anyone now moving on now to the external enclosure kit that has the apple's original ssd well first things first this enclosure is sexy it looks like the macbook air just gave birth to a baby mac because the design the materials are on par with the macbook's aluminum premium build and design and there's even a velvet carrying bag to take it on the go that feels very gripping and good in the hands and can keep your SSD nicely secure. The SSD is powered through the USB 3.0 port so there are no extra cables, no AC power adapter needed, just running straight off the drive. And the best thing I like about the design is the indicator light that's glowing a sleek white tone. I got tired of all these other devices that glow with the blue and the greens or even the rare orange light. Now this light reminds me of the good old days when the older Macs and MacBook had a similar light indicator on the front. You know that little glowing white light just I really love that color. So leave a like if you guys do too. Let me know what you guys think of the indicator light. But well anyhow getting back to topic. Uh, uh, reads and write speeds right we are after all reviewing uh, a hard drive well i was getting constantly write speeds of 220 megabytes of writes which actually is a lot better than when it was internally in the macbook air i was barely getting 125 megabytes reads and the read speeds of course they're normal for usb 3.0 they were around the 315 megabytes per second it is and pretty good i mean it perfectly replaced the apple's ssd because it kept those fast speeds that we're all used to in apple's ssd drives and also it actually extended the storage space so i'm really happy with the upgrade the owc aura ssd does come with a three-year warranty and a lifetime free support from the us so basically pretty much the only con i see here is the price yes it is an expensive upgrade but it does make your laptop basically a new laptop all over again well after all this four year old macbook air still has a great design the performance is still on par with what a lot of manufacturers honestly are pulling out even in 2017 and of course the build quality is on top and that leaves us with a lot of pros you see 
Aside from the obvious disk based gains that we get, we do feel an overall snappiness in the OS. And because of the increase of reads and especially the write speeds, it will help me export videos a lot faster so the SSD will no longer be the bottleneck to my CPU or my MacBook overall. Now I know some of you might be better off just replacing your laptop altogether. Just don't be quick to try to have the latest and greatest cause you'll never win that race. A slight bump in increasing RAM or maybe exchanging your hard drive to an SSD might be all you need to make your PC or your Mac feel like a new machine. I really hope you guys enjoy not only this review of the OWC Aura SSD but also this discussion about extending the life of the devices that we use daily. And what do you guys think? Is it worth continuing upgrading or replacing parts in your laptop or PC? Or are you better off just replacing your machine altogether? Leave down the comments down below and thanks again for sticking around for this video and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.